Recently, Pods did a survey. You know, the company that drops the big boxes in your yard so you can pack up before you move. So they did a survey to see where are they finding the most people moving to. Marietta, Georgia was on the top of that list. I think I have an interesting perspective of Marietta as I grew up just about 30 minutes from here and I've really watched as Marietta has continued to grow, especially in the last couple of years as Atlanta's major league baseball team, the Atlanta Braves, chose to move the stadium from the city of Atlanta here into Marietta. But with that, there's a few things that not everybody talks about that I feel like are pretty important if you're thinking about making a move here to Marietta. Welcome back, I'm Ashley Lazarian a local realtor selling the suburbs of Atlanta for the last 18 years, helping people like you make a move. Marietta is a fairly large city, especially if you compare it to some of the surrounding cities like Kennesaw, Woodstock, or Sandy Springs. If you jump on 75 from the city, you can be to Marietta in just about 30 minutes. And if you're coming from the airport, you could be here in just about 45 minutes. And I really feel like this is one of the contributing factors that continues to bring people to Marietta. It honestly is a great location. Now, that being said, you have to face the facts that traffic around here on 75 and going around 285 is an absolute nightmare. I mean, there really isn't a great time of day to be on these roads. And here in Atlanta, we have what's called rush hour traffic. So from about seven o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock in the morning, and then again from about 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., you should be avoiding these areas at all costs. There's so much to do here in Marietta. There's Six Flags Whitewater, which is just down the street. It is a huge water park and a really fun place to take the family for the day. There's also Six Flags, which is not too far from here. They're always trying to outdo themselves, having new roller coasters that are gonna go faster and better than the last one. One of the more popular places, especially right now, is the Battery, which is right outside of the Brave Stadium. There's condos overlooking Truist Field, and there's a number of restaurants and tons of shopping. And when the Braves are playing, there's a huge lawn space and massive big screens, and people hang out and just watch the game. Some people actually prefer being at the Battery and watching the game there than attending the game in itself. It's a whole vibe just being here at the Battery, especially when they're having those games. But you have to keep in mind, if you live around this area and one of those games is going on, it's gonna be busy. It's fun, it's full of energy, but it's hectic. There's people walking, there's traffic, and you have to watch out for those cycle trolleys because they're getting the momentum and they have a mission. Marietta Square is kind of like the downtown of Marietta. It still has all of that small town charm, old world feel, because Marietta has a ton of history. There's a lot of shops, restaurants, and they're not chain restaurants. They're all mom and pop, original owned. There's a couple of breweries and an old theater. And just on the street from here is gonna be probably one of the most famous things, Marietta Diner. So if you've watched diners, dive-ins, and drives like I have, you've probably seen Guy Fieri actually visited here and talked about how amazing the food was. Now, my problem with Marietta Diner is I cannot figure out what to eat. There is literally everything on the menu. They're serving breakfast all day. They've got Greek food, Italian food, American burgers, literally anything you want, they have. Marietta is located in Cobb County and Cobb County schools have always been noted for being amazing schools. Marietta Center for Academics is one of the highest rated in the area and Lasseter High School actually has been rated a 10 out of 10. One of the number one things that my husband and I were focused on when we were looking at purchasing our personal home with schools. We have two kids. We want to make sure that they're going somewhere that's going to be great for them long term. And so I really think that that's another thing that people are focused on when they're moving here to Marietta. And there really are some fantastic options. In this video here, I did more of a deep dive into the unemployment rate here in Georgia and how the fact that Georgia is actually one of the lowest in the country. And that's certainly the case here in Marietta. There are a lot of employers here in the city of Marietta, companies like UPS, Home Depot, Lockheed Martin, there's a ton of new tech jobs and especially with the commute being so close to the city. And with Truist Park, the Battery and the Square, there's a ton of opportunities when it comes to retail and food. There's even an indoor skydiving place, which I personally have not checked out, but it definitely has intrigued me. Atlanta actually has been nicknamed the city in the woods. And one of the things that I really appreciate about Marietta, just the same as Atlanta, is the fact that when they start new builds, they really are paying attention to how they can preserve all of the material landscaping that we've already got in place. 
It's amazing because so many people come and visit here and they talk about the trees. And I guess being born and raised here, I just don't notice it as much, but so many people come and they are amazed at how many parks and green lawns and spaces that we have all around the city and throughout Marietta. As you're driving around looking at housing here in Marietta, one of the key things that you're gonna notice is that houses here were built more in the 70s, 80s, 90s. There's not a ton of new construction opportunities other than some of the condos and townhomes that they're building because nowadays builders are building up, not out. Marietta was one of the earlier suburbs to be developed. So you've got these older homes. Now I'm personally one that doesn't shy away from these old homes. I actually sometimes think that they have a lot more character than homes nowadays and they definitely have bigger lot sizes. My issue with the older homes is making sure that they have no deferred maintenance. So waiving an appraisal is just not an option when it comes to be. Marietta has always been a favorite town and with even more people visiting, realizing how great it is and then putting down roots here, that's obviously driven prices up, especially the last couple of years going through 2020 all the way to 2022. The average home price right now in Marietta as at the time of this video is around $500,000. And looking at predictions, they're saying that we're gonna be continuing to rise in 2024, another 3%. One thing that might seem a little bit different about Marietta that you may not notice in other locations, and quite frankly, I don't always notice it because it's out of sight, out of mind, right? but it's the power lines. In most areas, the power lines are actually run underground, but here in Marietta, the power lines are still overhead. Sometimes if we get a bad storm, high winds, ice storms, that can actually take the power out in the area. Thankfully, Georgia Power is usually right on it and they can get out there quickly and get things restored. Like every city, there's gonna be pros and cons. If you want the city vibe while living in the burbs and you can handle a little bit of traffic, Marietta might just be the place for you. So if you're thinking about making a move, or maybe you already live here and are thinking moving within Georgia, my team and I would love to help. You can reach us at ashley at myhaventeam.com. Until then, I'll see you next week. Are you filming?